de vacaciones, mis felicitaciones. Hello guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay, that's nice. That's good. That's excellent. So getting ready then for <clears throat> for next year, for the vacation, for the party. Huh? So ready. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you no. Um, Not yet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have plans for next? Not yet. <laughs> okay. No plans for next week. For Christmas. Uh, um, yes. And yeah. when is it the next week? Um, Yes, no, it's um when 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 is twenty fourth? Um on Wednesday, I, right? No, we, Thursday. Twenty four oh next uh, Thursday. Okay. Uh, the next week. See a lot of words. Yes. So one exactly in two weeks. Yes. In two semanas terminamos el año. My goodness. Um, but, yes. Yes. Wow. That is fast. That is you, very teacher? fast. Well, in the moment, you, no, not too many plans. No, just uh, celebrate with the uh, with, uh, family, have dinner, have a good time. <clears throat> Probably no. Okay, okay David. Uh, probably not uh, uh, a big celebration, right? Uh, with, uh, many, with, many, with many people, but a little bit. Uh, Do yes, pre no, you prepare a, a turkey? Oh, the, the turkey, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes the turkey, turkey and tamalitos. With, uh -huh. with sauce. 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 Sauce, yes. Yes, turkey and sauce, exactly. You know, just uh, something you know. Relax, right? Not too, not too fancy, not too expensive. Okay, what about next year? What are some of the plans that you have for next year? Some resolutions. Yeah. No plans. Yeah, teacher. I would like uh, uh -huh. uh, my help and the. My stu my studies for uh, university and English uh, have been uh, better in the next year. Okay, that's good. Yes, you know, because to be in good health, right? Nowadays, this is probably priority one. Okay, yeah. the, the first priority is, you know, the priority is to be healthy. Uh, vitamins. I do exercise uh, and you know the high uh, let's say the hygiene cleaning your hands and stuff like that okay so that's very important then the studies studies are really important right study about anything right English is very important but also I don't know if you are a professional you need probably need a 
technical uh, technical studies or probably you know to study a, a career or maybe a master degree okay it depends yeah. uh, there are many things that sometimes we we need to study and learn right so then yeah. that's, that's important i would i would like to uh, start to the um, my master degree in um, in me studies for immigration and people okay so those uh, those are for two years right master degrees yeah two years, two years. okay and two years more for mm -hmm. PhD. phd phd okay you know two years sometimes sometimes with uh, two years of studying a master degree no but two years go very fast yes uh, two years you don't feel the time uh, sometimes we say el otro año okay y así pasamos tres años el otro año el otro año and then when we realize si hubiéramos comenzado in the first time then by the third time you at the third year we have already finished okay and then uh sometimes only thinking we spend more than two or three times okay so then or years so that's better once you decide to it okay what other plans do you have for next year what plans do you think would be good to to develop to have business uh, more work or let or work less uh, find a way to uh, let's say let's find a way to make money with less uh, with less effort right so I think that is a probably you know a good a good option right not to in these days what else what is another plan Joel any plans for next year travel to another country travel around the world well, my only plan is work and work and work. <laughs> okay, good. You know, but at least, but uh, you have that clear, right? The good thing is that you have a job and then you yes. have to continue working, okay, or doing some things in your job. Okay, how about you, Rania? Any plans for next year? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, my my plans is work working okay are you married yeah okay children Mary. how many children yeah. two children two children okay good then yeah. uh, well you know probably you know they have some plans with your children teach english to your children <laughs> okay practice english with your children so that could be a a good option right good yeah Thank you. Robert, any plans? Uh, for the new year, I um, my plan with it is travel with my family and um, solicitar la visa. Ask, ask, ask for the visa or apply for a visa. Ask for visa mm -hmm. and and travel for the United States with my, my family. Okay, good. That's a good that's a good plan, right? You know, to, but to yes. for vacation, for pleasure, or to stay there. Um, for vacations. Oh, okay. For for vacations. Yes. I, yeah, because I don't I think can, I. I no sé, ahora puedo hacerlo. I, I, can, can, I can do it now. I can do it. I, I can, can do it now. I can do it now. Yes, and uh, that's a good thing, you know. When you can do it, do it. Because after, yes. after we said, uh, it's probably it's not possible. Yes. Okay, very good. That's right. And anybody else who wants to share plans for next year? Opinions, advice, consejos para los años. Who wants to? Any options? Arely? Um, 
my plans for next year um, a visit uh, and stay my daughter. Ah, yes. My vacation. Mm -hmm. when, when is your vacation? Um, Mom, April, April. Um, August, and December. April. April, April, August, December. And December, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, uh, be ready. April, August, or December, nos vamos en la maleta, Arely, right? <laughs> She's going. She's oh. going to Spain. <laughs> I seen uh, visit in vacation the month out. In August. August. In August. Mm -hmm. Yes, in August. August is cool, yeah. I guess. In August, I, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. Está fresquito, right? It's not. I think in April is. In space, um, how do you say Summer. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's it's all right. Okay, good. Anybody else? Any other? Norma? Any plans for next year? Any plans for next year? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Uh, yes. Um, I feel greater for God because then we are here. Yes. And he, he gave us a good help mm -hmm. because in this year we have many difficulties with the pandemic, yes. but all, estamos aquí todos, yeah. Dios. Thank God we are and, all here. And, mm -hmm. and my goal for the new year is continue learning English. Of course, have a good, healthy, and try to reach my dreams and my goals, meta, sueños. Yes, yes, yes. Dreams. Uh -huh. also, also, my family stay safe with me and pray that everyone has food on our table okay. and continue loving each other. That's a very nice one. Okay, that's very, very, very nice. Okay, very good. And what else? Who else wants to share? Carol, any plans? Hi, um, any plans? Um, my visit in my, my sister in the United States in April, um, August, uh, with Jeva, uh, uh, I take uh, my, my father and my mother uh, and my daughter. Okay, take your family with you. Yes. So, you know, family trips are nice, but well, nowadays I guess the the difficulty is the the PCR test, right? That you have to take, and all the protocols that you have to follow in the airplanes, airports, and stuff like that. Which is it's more complicated. Okay, good. Um, what about you, Romeo? Any plans for next year? Uh, on vacation, we're at home. Uh, paint my room, uh, cook something good at roast. Okay, that's good. So painting, cleaning, working in the house, that's also, you know, things that we have to do, right? It's a never ending or an endless work, okay, in the house. Good, okay, good. Uh, we're going to check the exam and after that, uh, if anybody else wants to continue telling about your plans for next year, we can we can continue. Okay, let me see. We have uh, this one that has to be here. Yesterday we finished with um, link sounds. 
And today we have the, I don't know, if you completed all the exercises on the platform, because we have two, okay, here. I always recommend the, the strategy that you first read the, the questions or sentences here. Emily is short in, and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Uh, Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Steve is 29 years old and handsome. The teeth was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. The teeth had on a black shirt and glasses. The teeth had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. AJ and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom, AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red sweater. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Any questions about this vocabulary or expressions? No. No. Okay, then this is the, first, the step number one. Step number two, you listen only listen right <clears throat> listen to the conversations check the correct information one. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. <clears throat> he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well... He had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them, thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay, and, uh, <clears throat> and the, step, the step number three is to listen again. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct information. Reading. And One. Look, looking at the sentence. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Oh. Let's see. 
she's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no. Okay, and then um, in this case you have to, then you listen again. You can answer the questions. And after, the second time, you double check. Solo confirm your answers. Okay, no problem? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, uh, I can final the exam. Yes, I think uh, they say that today, but uh, I think that you will have time probably, but uh, you better try today because this one takes you like five minutes. It's still five. If you see the other one, say complete use the present perfect of the verbs. For example, have you, then you're gonna use here the, the past participle, remember? What is the past being, participle being? Being. Uh -huh. being. being. This one? Sing. 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 Uh -huh. Look, sing. This mm -hmm. one? Sing. sing. Has. This one? Has. 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 Um, but here, has. because has. you have to be has oh. because it's question, right? Has he ever? Has he ever? Has he ever eaten? So it's not has. really complicated. No, he has never. Has. Has. Had because has. has is in the auxiliary. But the past participle is had. Had. Mm -hmm. Then read the sentences and choose the correct answer. Then he says, uh, I lived in Boston. And For. Then, uh -huh. oh. For this one, five years. Uh -huh. And this one, for, for, for a long time. A long time. Long time. Okay. So you see, it's not really difficult. So then, uh, this one. Read the following sentences and choose the correct word. My mother is. In. Uh -huh. You're gonna use in. Tracy? Has. Uh -huh. Has because it's third person. Mm -hmm. Then feels new. Hi. Hi. Feels nephew? Feels new. Is. 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 Uh -huh. The height is. is five because it's the nephew. Uh, has Martin ever? Missed. 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 Uh, missed. Missed. Uh, missed. Uh, missed. Uh, remember, lost es perder algo físicamente. En miss es como dejar perder algo. Perder. Right now. Uh, perder el bus, perder el perder una cita. Una cita, uh, una cita uh, trabajo, uh, the work, the how many times have you lost your cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone every day. Have you ever driven? Driven. Driving. Right? Driving. Dr driving. Driven. 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 Driven a track. Okay. So then these are the verbs. And the next one. Probably this one will take you a little more time. Because here says, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Then here, you have to remember Christy. Mm -hmm. Christy is really, is, is really, uh -huh. is really, Georgia. George. George. Gorgeous, 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 and, and in her, her thirties. Christy no. is really gorgeous no. and in her thirties. Thirties. In her thirties. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
then you have to find here, this is a question. Pay attention to this, right? So this one, eh, y cuando lo escriban, no escriban el signo de interrogación aquí. Mm. Ok, porque ya está aquí. Eh, había uno, no me déjenme ver. Creo que está hecho. Yes, that you don't have to. So you have, you have to write does Sam have, have a mustache and where? No, does Sam? How? Yeah, does Sam? Does Sam wear have a mustache? And wear glasses. And wear glasses. And wear glasses. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember. One of these is incorrect. Sam have mustache and wear glasses. That sound I, has a mustache. I think no. this one. Let me see. Yes. Yes, look. You don't have to write the answer, the, the question mark. Okay. Si escriben la question mark, se la va a dar mala. Porque hasta aquí solo está pidiendo que ordenen lo que está en paréntesis. All right. Teacher, creo que el puntito también. ¿Cuál puntito? Eh, a la oración. La de arriba. Oración hay que ponerle los puntos también. Si no van a dar. Eh, yo creo que no se le pone. En esta ocasión Ajá. no se le pone. No se le pone, mira aquí no está. Ajá. Entonces, si lo ponen posiblemente les dé error Está también. mal. Ajá. Ok, son detalles que, que a veces no es que estén, le hacen quebrarse más la cabeza a uno, ¿verdad? Right? Because it's, uh, sí, sí. But then it's because of this, these details, right? This one also, no periods. And this one, no question mark. Okay? Uh -huh. That's it. And the reading. In the reading, we can check the vocabulary. And le vamos a pedir a eh, Joel, read the first paragraph. Okay. Wait. Hey, okay, what happened? Okay. Yes, we see. Okay, Joel, read the first paragraph. And um, I don't know if. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast, this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe. So, am I emailing you now? You now. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Murania, can you read the second paragraph? It's a really. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on North Street, and there are some interesting stores, too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sara. Come visit. Okay, good. Excellent. Questions about vocabulary or expressions? Uh, teacher, I, I had a, a Vietnamese restaurant. I mm. had. I. What is I it? I ate. I ate. I ate, perdón. Uh -huh. Sorry, I ate. What is? Uh, como que comí. Last night I oh. ate, mm -hmm. the past tense of eat. Uh -huh. 
last night I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant. Okay. Uh, 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 pronunciation. Laundromat. 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 Uh -huh. Laundromat. Any, anything else? <laughs> okay. Then a uh, after that, you go to the questions, and then you have Sarah Ken, all the things that she can do. Read books, yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Eat Venezuelan food? No. 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 Exercise no. at a gym? No. 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 Get a haircut? No. 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 Go dancing? Yes. 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 Go shopping? Every weekend. Every yes. weekend. Yes. 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 Make travel arrangements? No. 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 See movies? No. 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 Send emails? Yes. 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 On the cafe, right? And wash and dry clothes? Yes. No. Yes. 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 And the in the laundromat. Okay. Yes. There is a laundromat on our yes. street, and there are some interesting stores. Then in that place. Read books. No. Read, read books. books no, teacher. Oh, no. Huh? No. They say new, also new, there are lots of different restaurants. <coughs> no. Brazilian food. No, it doesn't say anything about hobbies, just by CDs, um, DVDs, oh, book, um, uh, and books. They sell, uh, they sell okay. lots of CDs uh -huh, from all over the world. And my roommates told me that it's a dance club. But she doesn't say that she, probably she can read books, right? Probably, yes, probably not. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you okay. go. Then you can confirm your answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess that is the, if you see, if you take it, probably no more than 30 minutes and you are done, okay? And that's the end. That's the end. Okay, well, yes. Yes, I don't know why all day. My internet connection is unstable too, I don't know why. Does anybody know what is the problem with the internet tonight? What is what is what is happening? I don't know. Uh, Robert Robert knows. <clears throat> ah, but he left. Robert, I'm sorry. Okay, here it is. Here it is, Robert. What is the problem with with internet tonight? In some places, that is unstable. Um, yesterday? Not today, right now. My internet is no, I... sometimes unstable. What happens? Why sometimes? Uh, um, it depends the very factors, but uh -huh. um, the raining is... is uh, most problematic eh, okay. eh, el, el lo más lo más problemático cuando, ah, cuando hay problema. una lluvia y, 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 y se y se mojan y se filtra el agua en en, en el sistema de red hfc ah, okay. Juan, 
And when there is no rain, the wind. When there's no rain. Y el, el viento, the wind. Eh, pen, eh, no, no, el viento no. Pero um, eh, muchas veces es el problema interno de los clientes. Cuando hay muchos dispositivos conectados a la vez y saturan ah, okay. el ancho de banda, se, se traduce in, en instabilidad en un, en un servicio. Por ejemplo, right now, eh, ahorita me sonaba Por ahí podría andar. Ali, para mí. Ok. Pero eso pasa a mí también, cuando mi cuando mi familia dice, cuando están viendo ahí el Señor de los Cielos en las novelas, en everything. Por ejemplo, look at this moment, se, su conexión a internet es inestable, dice right now. Y mine. Ok. Sí, creo que es mejor para muchos. Cuando. Cuando escuchamos música en troca es terrible también. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Cuando escuchamos música en YouTube en 4K. Ah, ok. It also happens. Usted solo, usted solo quiere escuchar música, pero usted está descargando un video en una, una resolución que lo único que va a hacer es saturar su internet. All right. Ok, boys. Then that's one possible idea, ok, of the problem. Now I will send you this Information. Cualquier otro problema podría ser el proveedor si cambie ese de claro a Tigo y estamos listos. <laughs> And here's that. Well, no, de I, 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 I am Tigo. <laughs> And I have a problem. My internet is, is Tigo. No, <laughs> 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 muy Robert. <laughs> It's ok, yes. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, no. But I, I, guess, oh, but... I think it's, I think it's the too many devices. Muchos, muchos. Uh, how do you call this? Uh, devices. Dispositivos. Dispositivos. Right? Dispositivos. Too many, too many devices uh, connected at the same time is a big problem. Yes. That's right. Or maybe okay. someone is watching a movie in Netflix. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Netflix. Uh, some or videos in the. In the, in the cell phone, listening to music, yes, it's true. It's true. Okay, did you, did you get the... It's streaming, yes. Uh-huh. Did you get the, the document? Look in your WhatsApp. Yes, teacher, I did. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. If you see there, that's... Uh, That's a vocabulary that you can use and then you can repeat it many times. Remember that adjectives in English, is, well, not only in English, also in Spanish and Portuguese in any language is uh, one area that is very extensive, right? It's very extensive in vocabulary because, you know, we describe uh, personalities, we describe uh, appearance, And there are uh, a lot of things, there are a lot of ways to, to describe. For example, if you see the first picture, there is a lady. Her name is Sharon. Right? Yes. And then it says, name Sharon, age 16, height 150 centimeters, and weight 44 kilograms. Okay? Then... Uh, there is a little paragraph, a short paragraph below, and you have two options, okay? You have, okay, uh, turn off your microphones, please. Sharon says, then Sharon is a, in a high school. I see too much noise, but it's not me, right? Where is that, okay. Then it says, Sharon is a, a high school student. Okay, you have to see that it could be teacher, but if you see the, the age is 16, then you have to choose one word. Sharon is a high school student. She is young, she is short, and she is plump. Plump as you know, like a 
rellenita, right? It's not very, it's not very slim. And she has got short brown hair and hazel, hazel brown, right? It's a un cafecito claro, and right? This is hazel brown, hazel, hazel eyes. Eh, como almendrados too, right? Okay, so then this is a, a description of the person and then you can see young, old, short, tall, slim, plum, black, brown, hazel. And then you have descriptions <clears throat> for the other men on the other side. It says name, William, age 24, height, 185 centimeters, weight 78 kilograms. Okay, who wants to read the paragraph about yes. William? Who reads, who wants to read about William? He's a handsome. Aha, uh -huh. William is a handsome boy. He is handsome. John or old? Old. Oh. 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 John. 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 Uh -huh. John. He is John. John. He is short. Uh, short? Uh, no. He's tall. One hundred eighty-five. He's no, tall. it's tall. He's tall. He's tall. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, he is uh, of medium weight. He is of medium weight. Okay, I see peso mediano, right? And he has got, uh -huh. uh, probably for him, is long. It's long. Okay, very short. Long black hair. Black hair and um, black eyes. And black eyes, yes. Eyes. Okay, what, what is fair? What is fair? Fair. Mm -hmm. Is Fair. a color teacher? Huh? Is a color? Yes. In this case, yes. Uh -huh. Fair in this case is uh, like blonde, like blondie. Oh. Okay. But fair is British English. Mm -hmm. And blonde <laughs> is uh, American English, right? But fair también significa justo. Okay. okay. I say it's not fair. No es justo. Okay. So that's that's why in American English, in American English, they use a blonde, not fair. Okay. Good. Now, Carol, can you read about Helen? Helen. Yes. Helen is a uh, jungle. Um, John and John is a John, yes, and a beautiful and girl, beautiful girl. girl. She's a uh, short and she's a uh, uh, she's a Plum. 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 Yeah. She's no. She she has got uh, curly hair. Um. Has uh, has a green eyes. In green, uh huh? Green eyes. Green, green eyes. Eye. She's um. Uh, Wearing a hat. She's wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Okay, good. And then that's the, the vocabulary that you see. That is a uh, repetition in descriptions. Okay, for example, uh, let me see. Uh, Robert, can you read about Roger? Okay. Roger is a 
old man. He doesn't work. He is ready to uh, work. Ah, re retired. Yes. Re retired. Retired. He is um sh um. She's no. He is of medium medium height, height 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 and height and he's um plump yes he has got a uh, a short ah uh, short short black hair and yeah, um, black eyes. And black eyes, okay. All right, very good. And what about the next one, Flora? About Claire. Okay. Um, Claire is a fortune Teller. Fortune teller. At a, fortune teller at a circus. She is young. She is uh, tall. tall. Mm -hmm. She is slim. She had got uh, she, ha she has got long Curly, mm -hmm. brown, brown eye, air, brown hair, and brown hair, and uh, blue eyes. And blue eyes. What a nice combination, right? Okay, very good. Thank you for. Then, uh, Suli. Okay, read about James. James. His name James. Age six. Sixty-seven. James is a musician, driving in in a rock group. He is stored. Yes. He is long. Kind of. Uh, he has a long curly. <laughs> yes, long curly. No, no, no. Long straight. Straight. No. Long curly. Long yeah. curly. It has a colossal, right? Hey, uh, he is wearing glasses. Yes. He is young. No. He is old. He is old. Yes, he is 67. 67. Okay, good. One more. Uh, Romeo, Romeo. Read about Carmen. Carmen is a pretty woman. She is a young. She is a old male head. And she is. Hello? Mm -hmm. um, long, straight, fair hair, and yes. green. Green eyes, right? Yes, she's got green eyes. Okay, so that's Carmen, and then you have uh, Samuel. Then on the second page below, you will find the the same, but in red color. In red color, you can see the the answers, right? So, what is the the correct answer according to the according to the picture? 
okay, if they are plump, if they are uh, slim, okay, so then you can use this vocabulary. Okay, remember that the important thing here is to first remember the vocabulary and second remember the structure, okay, La, the position, the position of the sentence, of the words in the sentence. Uh, for example, when you are describing the person, John or all, the adjectives go before. For example, Roger is a John man. No, is a man John, right? Uh, he doesn't work. He is retired. He is a worker. He is short. Okay, uh, he is of medium height. He is plump or he is slim. Okay, so then uh, after the verb to be or before a noun. Okay, this is the important thing about this vocabulary and these structures. So the recommendation is remember that you're going to be almost three weeks maybe. Okay, for example, the two weeks in this moment of vacation then probably probably the first week of january okay then you're going to begin maybe the second week of january so that means three weeks of no no english studies so it's, it's a little bit dangerous right because it's like going, this is like going to the gym After, if you go to the gym every day what happened when you stop going to the gym for three weeks uh, when we want to start again, vuelven los dolores, right? Everywhere, right? Oh, pain here, pain there, or you forget some things. So, recommendations, uh, read in English, listen to music in English, uh, watch movies in English with the captions, no subtitles, not subtitles, captions. Captions is listen in English and read in English. Okay? A uh, subtitle is you listen in English and you read in Spanish. Okay, but that's not a, that's not good. Okay, you listen in English and read in English. That's the, that's a good one, right? Then with the captions. Then, uh, uh, let me see what else. Uh, probably um, look for in YouTube. You can, for well, no, YouTube and also if you have iTunes, YouTube, iTunes, I don't know Spotify, but you can find books in English or programs in English. Uh, there are very nice programs in iTunes, in the, in the library, in the library, in the librería de iTunes. Oh, you can find a lot of material in English. Very, very nice and short. Okay, so you can. These are you know things that you are enjoying, and you are practicing your English. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, for speaking, for speaking, you can uh, use your cell phone. Okay, uh, you can find a, a, let's say an article internet. Unos lecturas cortas, you can find it, and then you read it, and then you record it in your cell phone. After that, you can listen. No hay mejor juez que uno mismo, right? Because, you know, when you listen to yourself, it's like, que todo nuevo, right? Or you can say, hey, que nice, right? And then you can, uh, this is a way to modulate, because we learn to modulate our voice, okay? And little by little, we also improve the pronunciation, okay? Uh, the pronunciation of the, in English is just a lot of practice, reading, speaking, okay? It's, it's nothing out of this world. Now, for the rest of the world, right? It's just a practice, practice, and practice. Okay, that you have to do. Okay, so those are my recommendations, right? That uh, for these three weeks, you know, and we have all these tools, we have all these uh, chances in our house, right? With the cell phone, with the internet. Uh, even if you have a, if you can get the some. Uh, if you want to make a group from WhatsApp, you can also practice in English, okay? Because when you WhatsApp, uh, uh, you are texting in English, you are also thinking and writing at the same time, informally, and that helps a lot, that helps a lot. 
because when we write, uh, there is a moment that we are writing and then you stop. And then you stop because you don't find the words. And then you discover that you need vocabulary. Okay, the same thing happens when we speak. Sometimes we are speaking and then, uh, and then you stop because there is something that you don't remember. Okay, or you don't know how to say, okay? And that is vocabulary. And the vocabulary, the only way you can improve vocabulary is reading and listening, okay? Watching movies, listening to music, and reading, todo lo que entra por los oídos, los ojos, is to improve, I mean, is to increase vocabulary. Okay, then when we speak, we produce what we have here. Okay, when we speak or when we write. Okay, remember that we have the, the, four, the four skills, listening and reading. Listening and read with the eyes and produce when we write and when we speak, okay? So, and, and the production when we speak is different uh, with, the, uh, with the production when we write. Well, lo mismo escribir que hablar. Which one is more difficult? Speak or write? It's write. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh, exactly, no, write. Because right. when, we, when we write, Eh, tenemos que entrar, encontrar el tono correcto, right? Porque puede ser que no queramos decir algo pesado, pero suena si no encontramos las palabras adecuadas, right? But in English is different. In English, eh, <laughs> no, no puedo decirlo acá, pero decía, yo tenía alguien que decía, puedes decirle las palabras, las groserías más fuertes a una persona hablando, pero si se las decís con dulzura, you won't get angry. <laughs> Okay, but it's because of the tone. But when we write, cuando se escribe, ese tono no va. Right, and then uh, is, that's why writing is more difficult. And then when we write, the, the people who write uh, very well, oof, they have a lot of knowledge, okay, but it's difficult. Okay, people, then anything else, something else, more plans? No. <coughs> Las palabras. Learn yes. the English. Learning English, right. Las palabras de despedida las va a dar Zuli con unos cinco trabalenguas que te ha aprendido. <laughs> no, Zuli, where are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> You're tired today. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. Good. And where is uh, Enrique? Any yeah. words? Any words to say goodbye? Uh, all, all the person in this group, I am congr I congratulation for the finish for this course. Okay. And um, my um, I appreciate, I appreciate, appreciate the appreciate the teacher English for 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 good teacher and the yeah, comp teacher. good teacher comprehensive teacher. Uh, I, I, I I appreciate this this form for you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Sí, porque él habló en español. Yes. Sí, porque él habló en español. Sometimes, sometimes, thank right? Thank you for your patience. Yes. You know the the thing is that thank there are. Uh -huh. No, no, no problem. That's my that's my What's job. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's difficult. It was difficult. a pleasure for me. To... Okay. Oh. It was. A... It was a pleasure for me to have been with all of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Uh, this is, you know, one thing that you say it, it's important is that uh, try to speak English all the time. Sometimes, sometimes it's uh, probably for some details, it's good to say something in Spanish, okay? But the idea is to speak English all the time. Okay, it's, uh, remember that in English there are some interpretations, not translations. Okay, so that's why uh, it's no good to, to speak Spanish or translate everything because uh, uh, sometimes, uh, like, like you saw the, the word fair, for example, fair, English, American English is justo, but if you see it in a British context, 
it will be like Rubio, okay? Then a fair, a fair, a, a fair girl is something like, you know, the Rubia, right? It's not a blonde girl. So depending on that, a, sometimes you, like she has got in, in British English, but in American English, you only say she has. But in British English, they use she has got, I have got. Okay, there are differences. That's why it's good to understand all the variations in the language. So that's why reading what you move, I always recommend that, okay? Because that's the only way you will improve a lot. So people, thank you very much for your time, your patience too with me. And uh, in this 16 classes, I wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. And I hope glad bless you all forever and one day extra, okay? So then this is uh, something that I really uh, wish you the best. Hopefully I will see you in another level later, okay? Speaking English more fluently, okay? Thank you. Okay, okay thank people. you. Okay, so then, okay, one thing, okay, just one, do, do one thing, do one thing, okay? It's extend your arms like this, everybody. Okay, now put them like this. Now like this. Es un, abra un abrazo de mi parte para todos, right? <laughs> a virtual, a, a, a virtual, a virtual Thank home. you, teacher. Merry Christmas okay. and happy okay. year. Bye-bye. Thank everybody. you very much. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. Gracias mucho, teacher. Okay, Gracias thank you. por todo. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.